If you've seen people walking around in what looks like body armor, chances are in today's America, it could be the National Guard. Maybe it's just TikTok's latest wellness craze, the wellness vests. Hey, I'm Tom Smoot, your favorite biomedical engineer and former special operations soldier. I wore heavy vests for years and studied biomechanics in grad school. So when I see these influencers strapping on vests like they're headed to combat themselves, I have a few opinions. Let's dissect some of these headlines and the articles quoting experts. Weighted vests are everywhere right now. The gym, hiking trails, TikTok feeds. Influencers are promising better posture, stronger bones, fat loss, and endurance. I'm sure someone out there is telling you you can be immortal as long as you buy a vest through their affiliate link. The reality, research is limited. And those strongest claims like muscle growth and bone density, they don't actually hold up that well. Experts agree if your goal is serious muscle or bone strength, Progressive resistance training is where you find the gains. That's barbells, dumbbells, bodyweight exercises. The evidence lives there. Trust me. I wore a 40 pound vest for years in the army. Did it build some muscle? Sure. Did it give me super bones and superhero abs? Absolutely not. Ask any soldier if body armor is better than their leg day in the gym. I already know the answer. So listen, here's the deal. Weighted vests do increase exertion. From a physics standpoint, it takes more energy to move a heavier weight one mile. So your heart and lungs work harder. Your oxygen consumption goes up. The result, you burn more calories. That makes vests useful for walking or hiking, especially if you know your goal is what's called zone two exercise. Zone two is generally considered the sweet spot. You're breathing heavier, you can still talk, but you can't sing. Experts agree this is when your body burns a higher proportion of fat. Running can push people way past zone two into anaerobic work. That's where more carbs are burned because fat takes longer to convert from storage. But if you're walking and you're not quite getting to zone two, a weighted vest could help you get there. But don't overdo it. Please stick to walking. Because when you add a vest, you add significant compressive force to your joints. That's every single step. In grad school, we studied this classic orthopedic research paper on load. The force on your spine is what we call normal when you're standing, but it jumps quickly when you start carrying a weight or climbing stairs and running, significantly higher force compared to walking. Sure, this paper measures force in the spine, but those forces translate down to your knees and ankles too. If you're into the science and research like I am, I'm sharing the paper link, it's a really good read. We spent a week on it in class. Otherwise, just know I saw enough soldiers with non-combat injuries to know the risk is real here. So there you have it, that's the big picture. Now, let's look at one group getting bombarded by misleading marketing, and that's women. This is where a lot of influencers target sales. Midlife women, menopause, perimenopause. Yes, bone density drops sharply after menopause. Yes, exercise matters for prevention. But the research on vests specifically, that's weak, it's inconsistent, there's small sample sizes. We need more research. If your goal is bone and muscle strength, weight-bearing resistance is still the proven path. That's Pilates, squats, lunges, lifting, not just strapping on a vest and going for a stroll. That said, if a weighted vest makes you feel more consistent with your walking, makes you get out more, that's still a net win for cardiovascular health. Do it. All you women out there, I say this as a fan of women, there's a lot of pressure to look a certain way. And a lot of these fitness products are marketed to play on that pressure. So please don't fall for it. This isn't magic. If you take anything away from this video, remember this. Soldiers wear heavy gear for extended periods. They don't all look like fitness models. <laughs> A vest is not a shortcut to the look society pressures you into. So, now you think you're ready to try a vest, here's what you gotta do. Start light. 5-10% to 10 of your body weight max is the general recommendation. Stick to walking or hiking. Please don't do any running. None of that hit nonsense either. Gradually increase your weight over weeks, not days. And if you have back, neck, shoulder, joint pain, skip it. Go talk to your doctor. They know more than all of us. Listen, you don't even need a vest. If you've got small kids, those kid carrier vests are probably cheaper. Throw a couple books in a backpack. I'm a big reader. My backpack pretty much goes everywhere with me. Bottom line, weighted vests aren't magic. They're just a tool used wisely that can help you. 
Use because some influencer told you it's a fast fix, you're going to end up hurt. That's how your money ends up in other people's pockets. Once again, I'm Tom Smoot, your favorite biomedical engineer and former special operations soldier. If this helped you at all, mashing those buttons to like and follow along costs you nothing. It also helps this information reach people searching for it. We all know the algorithm picks and chooses, so drop a comment if you're part of the Better Health Through Real Science Club. Happy to have you here. Thanks.